Hey guys, welcome to today's workshop where we're going to show you how you can use a SendGrid account to be able to send emails, receive emails, and also reply towards those exact same emails. So basically two-way email sync inside of your live chat inbox. The way to do that is again by going and creating a SendGrid account. So you can just press the link on the top with the sign up, right? Once you have signed up for your SendGrid account, it will look a little bit like this. You will see inside of YouChat that you will need a few values. So we have the API key, we have to send their name, we have to send their email, and we have the receiving domain. So these are the four data points that we need to fill in. In order to get your API key, we can go towards settings on the left-hand side. From the left-hand side menu, you will see the API key section. I already created mine, but you can just create a new one by pressing the top right button. Make sure that you give it a name, give it full access, create and view. Now, a really important step here is that you will receive a pop-up soon as you press this with the API key value. You need to copy and paste this into a safe zone, a safe area where you can safely store this because once you click that pop-up or close that pop-up, you will get towards this screen and you will not be able to see the API key for security purposes. So be sure to copy and paste that API key into a safe space. Once done, you will need to go towards the sender authentication. Here you will need to set up your domain authentication, right? So the type of sender identity you use to send email can impact your deliverability and what your recipients see in their inboxes. So in order to set up your domain authentication, you can go with authenticate your domain. I already verified mine, but if we go quickly over the uh, separate uh, settings, let's go and say authenticate your domain. Then we will be able to pick a DNS host. There are a lot of presets here. For me, I have Cloudflare, so I would pick this one. Then we will have, would you like, uh, would you also like to brand the links for this domain? So all links will then be branded towards your own custom domain instead of that of sendgrid.net. You can either choose yes or no. Go with next. Then you will need to have the from domain. And the from domain will be displayed on the right hand side. So if I, for example, say uchat.au, as you can see here, it will then go and change it on the right hand preview. So you can fill in your domain you sent from directly here. So I could also go with my own domain. So let's go with this domain. You can also go with advanced settings. I just use the automated security and press next. From here, you will have some manual setup to do. So you will need to add these C names towards your DNS section of your, basically your hosting provider, right? So for me, it's Cloudflare. And soon as you have done so, so you have a name and you have a value for the C name records, you will need to check mark the I have added all these records and then press verify. It might take some time because DNS records are not instantly updated. It could take up to 24 hours uh, just to be aware of that potential issue. Once verified, you basically will see the authentication in the top right corner or in the basically the above overview. As you can see, I have two pending now uh, just to have these as an example, but I already have my main one verified. You can also set up a single sender verification to so verify ownership of a single email address to use as a sender. That is something that you uh, that I did as well. So you can say verify a single sender. From here, you can create a sender. So we have a from name, we have a from email address, then we have a reply to. You will also need to insert the company address, the city, the country, the nickname, and then soon as you have done so, you will get towards this overview. As you can see here, these are my senders. Or, uh, these are basically my senders. So it's a from info at markfenomate.com. Then it will be replied to by my main email. I have my email address. Uh, I have my nickname. I have the verified status as well. I can also delete this if I wanted to, but I, of course, will set it here. Now, if you also en enabled link branding, then you will need to rewrite all the links to the basically use the domain you choose. And as you can see, that for me will already be this one. So during the authentication of your domain, you can also choose this option, right? And then as you can see, you will need to have this specific record added towards your DNS records as well. 
Once you have gone through these steps, and if it's your first time setting up SendGrid, then you will get most likely a pop-up uh, at the top of this page where you will need to go towards an email review. In this review, you will need to show and prove that you are getting consent to send users email. So what you can do is go inside of UChat, inside of your chatbot, create a flow where you will basically explicitly ask if the user consents to receiving emails, screenshot that, and also send along additional information about how you want to use emails with SendGrid in order to be approved. Once approved and once verified, you basically have all your domains set. So if we go back towards UChat, you will have your API key here, which you hopefully have stored into a safe place. Then we have the sender name, basically what we set up under the single sender verification. Then we have the sender email, and th this is my email that I set up here, as you can see. The receiving domain we will get from the inbound parse at host at URL, then receiving domain. So if we go towards the SendGrid portal, we can go towards settings, can go towards inbound parse, and I already set up mine. So if I am taking a look, basically what I did is the receiving domain is the one that I already authenticated in the previous step. So I'm just putting in this value and then selecting my domain. The next part is really, really important. So inside of UChat, you also have a webhook URL. So you need to copy this webhook URL, go towards SendGrid, and then insert that inside the settings. Additional options that I also checkmarked is check incoming emails for spam and post the raw full uh, mine message. Then I press save. So if I go with a host and URL, you will have your, in this case, my authenticated domain is my EM2299. And then we have dot my domain, right? Only authenticated domains may be used. So this is the part that I want to use. Then we have the destination URL where we have the webhook. So we need to copy this and then to use this inside the destination URL. As mentioned, I also check the additional options and once pressing add, then your inbound parse will be added here. Lastly, this authenticated domain also needs to go inside the receiving domain. If you press save, you should get a verified status. So far, so good. And we now have connected an integrated SendGrid with all the permissions that we need to do a two-way email sync inside of any of your chatbots. Let's create a flow. So let's say we're going to ask for a user's email. Let's go and ask for the email. What is your email? I'm going to save it towards response and auto opt in for the email in this case. The next step is to send an email towards this specific user. So let's select our email profile, which is the send grid one. Send to the system field email because we saved the email from the user there. Let's enter a subject. You are all set and good to go. I will skip the pre-editor and just add some text. Let's add a text. Hey, you are Good to go. Reply if you received this email. Right, regards, Mark. Right? Really simple email just to test if everything worked well. So let's preview this inside of the web. Let's give the email. Let's go with my Gmail. And now this email should have been sent. So if we are going to take a look, as you can see, I received this email. So if I am going to respond towards this one, so let's say reply. Let's say, yes, well received. Thanks. Going to press send. The message has been sent. And if we go towards live chat right now, you will see that we have received the email as well. So now that we received the email, we can just hover over it and you will see a dropdown. This dropdown will allow you to reply towards this email. As you can see, we can now reply. We can type our message here 
we can also go towards the email icon and write something here to have a little bit more of a well formatted email so let's say perfect looking forward to use this two way email sync and let's press send then you will see that this email has been sent so if we go back you see that we now have an email thread going so the first one is hey you are good to go reply if you receive this email then i sent a reply towards my email that i used inside of uchat which you can see here and then the reply has been sent back inside the exact same email thread of the user so this is the way that you can set up a two-way email sync inside of uchat using sendgrid as your hosting party if you have any questions do let us know and we will try to help you out as soon as possible for now have a great day take care and talk soon